All right, hey YouTube, Doom and Sarlacy here, back with another video. Uh, this one will be, uh, well, as you can see, uh, right there, M2. Uh, so I got the, uh, five of the six, uh, Walmart exclusive, uh, of the 70 Dodge trucks, the mid-70s Dodge trucks. I got this two-pack, and I got a couple other, uh, G a couple GM square bodies and a, uh, OBS truck to open up here. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. Uh, first up, because I actually already opened this one. Uh, this is the 78 Dodge Adventure 150, the Midnight Express truck. Uh, this one on a lowered base. Um, I already opened this one for uh, pictures from my uh, Lamley article. I just I kind of wanted to grab a couple pictures real quick. I was waiting for some stuff to come in. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it in time. And yeah, so I snapped pictures of this one already. So I'll go ahead and pull it off the base here. So much like the uh, OBS set, um, yeah, G yeah, the GM OBS uh, truck set. Uh, this one with the Dodges has two lowered to standard height and two raised. Stick those in there. Stick those the side. Um, but yeah, anyway, as you can see, this one is the lowered base on the Midnight Express. Absolutely love this truck. You've seen me, if you followed me long enough, you saw me rave about the uh, Hot Wheels one that came out in the display set last year as well as all the uh the few um giant lightning ones i got and yeah i was super happy to see that this was in this set being from walmart i actually so i found five of the six from the set in store oddly enough the uh utility truck was the one that i didn't find but that was the one I wasn't even sure I was going to bother picking up. Can I open the damn hood here? It's being very difficult, so I am not going to force that open. So I do not want to break this, because <laughs> I love this truck. But, yeah. So, anyway, that is the Midnight Express one. Next up, we got the uh, stock height Little Red Express, 78 uh, also a 78 adventure. Knife. Where's my knife? Crap, I need my damn knife. One moment. Okay, I am back with my good old trusty knife. Well, actually not old. I just picked this one up. It's clearance at Walmart for three bucks. Why not? <laughs> Go ahead and get that out of there. All my crap down over here. So this casting basically debuted as a uh, the uh, M2 collector release. This was it was basically a weird. All right, whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, it debuted from the M2 collector uh, site. It was the Little Red Express was on a lowered base like the Midnight Express back there and actually had uh, like gold accents. I think like the stacks were gold and um, whatever else. So, but this one being stock right height. Out of the thing there, that there, that in there. All right. That out of the way. Here. Why the hell is my phone doing that? I'm not even hitting anything. Like, I'm not even touching anything. My phone is freaking out. 
All right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, stock right height for the 78 Dodge. Let's see, can I open the hood on this one? Why? So we should be able to open the hoods. I don't know why I can't. Again, I'm not going to force it because I don't want to break anything. <laughs> but anyway, awesome looking truck. Cool, cool stock. Let me see some. Okay. Yeah. Very nice looking truck. Honestly, these are these are much better detail. Now that I'm really looking at them up close, these are a lot better detailed than I thought they were. Definitely cool to get these. The fact that I was able to actually find the most of the set in store was, thank God, <laughs> did not find the OBS set, but I was able to get it off Walmart. Or not Walmart, off of eBay, cheap enough that I didn't mind doing it. <laughs> Alright, anyway, next up, the 76 uh, Dodge Adventure 150 Custom. This one being uh, SRT, looks like it's got the, probably should have the uh, Hellcat motor under there. But if, like, the Little Red Express in the midnight, we're not going to be able to open the damn hood to check it. Why is my phone doing that? That is annoying as hell. Okay. All right, get the screw off of here. Get that one too. Here is the Hellcat one. I like. I love that they did this. Uh, they did a second type of hood for these, so it's like custom with the intake and all that. The purple one in uh, this box set here is, has the same hood. Can I open this one? I guess no. All right, so. At least I think we should be able to open the hoods on these. Shouldn't we? Alright, whatever. These are, yeah, these are more... Alright, whatever. I, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I don't feel like breaking it. So, I'm not going to force it. Oh, we got to fix the tire here. So, it's like this kind of problem, I don't mind. Because it's a quick fix. Slip the tire back onto the wheel. And all, all is good. <laughs> Definitely cool looking truck. All right, next up, uh, the 79, 79, 79 Dodge 150 Macho Power Wagon. This way, so I don't cut the box. Come on, there we go. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why my camera's jumping around like that. That I've noticed that on a couple of my last few videos, I'll start doing that too. Yeah, we gotta crack the cases correct too. Like I'm not even, I'm not touching anything. Like my my hand, I'm not touching the stand, I'm not touching the tripod, none of that crap, and it's still freaking out. I don't know what is going on. Oh. There we go. Alright. There's the 
truck. And this is actually the last one from the set we're going to open. Because I'm not going to bother with the uh, snow chaser. That I'll just show, show real quick. But, uh, yep, 79 Power Wagon. Awesome truck. Probably my, honestly, my, probably my second favorite one in the set. Besides Midnight, like only behind the Midnight Express. Light is a little, tail light, that tail light's a little off there. Let's try to fix that later. See that the right front wheel is. Is the axle bent? Funny enough, the axle would be bent. Yeah, whatever. It's just a display model. It's not like that's going to matter too much. A little uh, stuff there. That kind of stinks too, but. Okay, yeah, so these should definitely open. And you can kind of see. Engine in there. <laughs> and so I the if it's not gonna open, I'm just, I'm not gonna try to force it. All right, and the last one from the set that I have is the snow chaser or a snow 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 fighter, not snow chaser. But with the plow and stuff, I'm not gonna open that yet because it will not fit in a jammer case. So I'm not I'm not gonna take that one. But uh, this one, if you recognize that sticker, you know where I got, <clears throat> was able to pick this one up. This was what, release 80, I think, Auto Authentics, right? Yeah. 74 W200 Power Wagon. <clears throat> if I recall correctly, I think all three of these from the same mix. Yeah, R80, yep, all right. So all three of these, actually, all three of them I got. And Hobby Lobby ended up, two different ones, ended up getting the three I cared about in this mix. Come on. Yeah, open that. that open. Okay, there we go. That, flip that over, toss the screw in there. Yep, this one off of here. Come on. And get the standoff off, off of the truck. power wagon so definitely a great looking casting from M2 on this one they did an awesome job on it I think hoping maybe we'll see a dually version eventually we shall see Alright, next up, we'll go ahead and go to the OBS, because it's the only OBS I have here from release 80. This was, what, was 90? Yep, 1990. That one. Yeah, 
that one. I'll set there, and there is our OBS Chevy truck. So, that, that's interesting. The shade and the color there is definitely different. The, the, this one's a little darker and it actually has a little as metallic to it or definitely more metallic to it compared to the body so I mean they are a separate piece so I'm, they, I'm sure they're painted separately before they're the they're not painted together is what I should say and that front wheel okay so the front wheels are smaller than the back ones the tires off a little bit here quick fix what we got? Stock engine under here? No paint problem there. Can I open any of these damn hoods? Holy hell. No? We want to be difficult, don't we? Son of a bitch. Alright, well, I'm not going to fight it. Not on a camera anyway. <laughs> there is the release 80 OBS truck. Alright, next up, sticking back there, we got 1976. Yep, 76 GMC Sierra Grand 15 4x4. Another one, uh, we got the right. Ooh, okay, well, those risers. It's not the uh, two separate risers on this one, or standoffs, I should say, not risers. Pop that off. Maybe open that. There we go. Right. Single standoff. And then here. All right. Simple enough. There is our gray square body GMC. Actually, with that push bar, I don't know that I can throw this in a jammer or not. Might not be able to. This one. Can I open the hood? Yeah, see, that one I can open up. <laughs> so, why the Dodges are being difficult and their OBS, who knows? Anyway, there's that GMC. Next up, we got a K5 Blazer. This is a somewhat older one. Louis 75. That opened up. If I want to pick up more of the K5. Another reason I really wanted to get this open is get this damn get these damn rubber bands off of here. Because as we all know, these rubber bands can be troublesome if they're left on for too long. Or if we don't know, we'll see in uh VL have up soon. Uh, these rubber bands 
depending on how long and how crappy they are over time, they will eat away at the paint. Alright, so wipe off whatever that residue from that is. There is our K5 laser. Again, opening hood. That one's it doesn't want to open or stay open. Just stock engine up under there, so all we need to see there. Rumble seat, removable roof. Yeah, I gotta go back and get a lot of those old the older releases of the K5 Blazer or the Jimmy. That's uh not gonna hurt my wallet trying to get a lot of them. <laughs> that roof bar, this roll bar, not quite down enough. So the, eh, the roof, this the roof doesn't sit. It's quite super level, as you can see from the front there. But, all right. Either way, it is a cool truck, and I need more K5s. <laughs> All right, next up, come on, Walmart exclusives. The first one, 76 uh, Sierra Grand 15 Custom. I have both 76, so this one the lower base, the other one being 4x4, four four, uh, yeah, four four with Firebird Fire Chicken on there. I really wish, now I remember seeing them when they were new. There was like the whole set of six of them. It was like a black one. I can't remember all the colors. I know one of them was black, but uh, black with the gold bird. But um, anyway, I know, I remember seeing them in store when they were new. Like, when the hell did this pair, these come out? These were, what is this? Walmart S16. Copyright. Oh, these are not as, these, this pair is not as old as I thought, okay. By the way, the actual Firebird pair, or the Firebird set, that was all six were lowered and with the fire chicken on the hood. Why can I not get this open? Um, I saw them. In, I saw them when they were new, and I never. There we go. Never freaking bought them. I've regretted that ever since. So that was the K5 blazer. Right. Now get this thing off of the thing here. Oh my god, stop jumping. Can I get this screw in it? That one was in there real good. All right. All right, and there is this GMC. Fire chicken. <laughs> So, I don't know. I think, I think it's a cool release. Now, the one I really hope they do, especially since they now have the crew cabs, do a lifted 4x4 and do the... Uh, have it be white and black. If you ever see the movie uh, Cannonball Run, you'll know which truck I'm talking about. <laughs> I would love for M2 to do that. That would that would easily make a if they end up doing one of those like that, that will easily make my uh, year end list for Lamley. This was 16, yes, this was after. I think right after. This was 15? Oh no, the 16 is so these are both the same case. Okay. Same mix. This one also has a roll bar or push bar. Why am I doing that? It's still in the case. There we go. 
damn it. Come on. There we go. Maybe. There we go. It's not moving anywhere. And the two back here. In case you're wondering why the base is like that right here, it's because they do a step side bed as well. So they need the opening. I assume it's because they do the step side bed as well, and they need the opening for the beds. Lifted 4x4. Same, yep, same deco, just 4x4 base instead of uh, lowered. So, if someone does know, I would like to understand something. So, did GMC actually do a package using that, using the Pineapple Fiber logo on there? I'm guessing they did, because I keep seeing this stuff but I, if they did I, I just I don't actually know <laughs> come on yeah. focus pain in my ass <laughs> so there is that 4x4 and lastly dodge uh, hauler set here now with this, at least six, seven of the auto haulers. I just grabbed this when I was uh, Christmas shopping the other day. Unfortunately, the Chevy set has the lifted crew cab, dually, and a uh, 57 uh, Bel Air gasser. And it, I did, that was long gone. This is actually going to be the first hauler set I've opened for M2. I don't really get these much. Every once in a while they'll have one I really need to want, really need to get. This one being one. Okay, let's stick that over here. As well as that. package now I'm not gonna so they, they actually screw the uh, truck to the trailer so it doesn't move around so I'm not gonna undo that right now but as you can see it's like the green one from the set just it's purple instead now so and then you also got oh, oh I forgot about to undo that come on Come on, there we go. Those screws in there, except I open the case somewhere else. There is the puller truck. Yeah, there's the painters. There. That is a little bit of paint. Alright. Open the hood on this one. Can I'm, just, I'm not gonna force them. <laughs> so anyway, there's the pull truck in this mint green with the dark, uh, dark green lower accent here. I think it looks good. But we also got but yeah. so this one. This one does look really cool. I really like this purple. See the metallic in it looks really good. Anyway. That will do it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Have a good one.